Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up an on Google TV streaming box. And this is one that I got from Walmart for 20 bucks. And in terms of what you get, bang for the buck, for an Android TV streaming box, this one is tough to beat. So we're gonna start with step one in the setup guide, and that's gonna be connecting our HDMI cord as well as our power cord, both of these coming with the device. And then after that, we're gonna set up the remote and get things going. So starting off, we're gonna connect one end of our HDMI cord to the back of the streaming box, and then the other end of our HDMI cord, we're gonna plug in to our television. Make sure you know which HDMI port that you're plugging into with your TV. So for me, I'm gonna plug into HDMI port one. This is helpful to know because on my TV, I need to switch over to HDMI one so that I can get to the on-screen menus of the on-device itself. So after plugging in the HDMI cord to our on device and to our television, the next thing that we're gonna do is power things on with our power cable. We got this end here, which we're gonna plug in to the front of the on streaming device. And then of course the other end, we're gonna be plugging into a wall outlet. So once we have the power cord plugged in, we can see on the back of the on device by the HDMI cord, we now have this power light that is showing that it's on. So at this point, what we wanna do is on our TV, I'm gonna go over to my HDMI one input and open that up. And at this point for step two, it wants us to pair the remote. So what we need to do is open up the back of our remote and it comes with a couple of batteries here. So we're gonna put that in the back of the remote and then cover it back up. So putting positive to positive and negative to negative, putting the back of the remote back on. So now that we have our batteries in, we should be good to go to pair our remote. So it says hold the back button and the home button for three seconds, and we wanna keep the remote within three feet of the streaming box. So the back button and the home button. So after holding the back button and the home button down for a handful of seconds, we get to the pairing screen and we get a green check mark. And now with the remote successfully paired, we can work our way through the menus on our TV to complete the setup process. So now using our paired remote, we're gonna finish this setup process. So we're gonna select our language, and for me, that's gonna be United States English, so I'm gonna click OK on that. And the OK button is the white circle button in the middle of the remote. Select your region, for me, it's gonna be United States, so again, clicking OK on that. So at this point, it wants us to set up with the Google Home app, so it says download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan the QR code. So we're gonna head on over to the Google Home app on our smartphone device. All right guys, so now over on my smartphone, I already have the Google Home app. If you don't already have the Google Home app, if you're on an Android device, you can download and install this in the Google Play Store. If you're on an Apple device, it's gonna be in the App Store. We're gonna launch the Play Store. And in the search bar here at the top, I'm gonna type in Google Home. And searching for Google Home, you should see the app pop up. And if you don't already have it installed, you can do so by clicking Install. If you already have it installed, it'll just say Open. So you can open the Google Home app from here. Or going back to my home page, if you don't have the Google Home app on one of your home pages on your smartphone, you can always scroll up from the bottom of your screen and you should have all of your apps in alphabetical order. We can see the Google Home app is right here. So we could click on it there as well. So clicking on it to launch our Google Home app, if this is your first time using the Google Home app, you're gonna to have to work your way through some setup menus. The most important one being selecting which Google account that you want to associate with your Google Home. But once you finally get to this page, what we wanna do is click on where it says devices, and we're gonna be adding a new device, so we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna be connecting a new device, so we're gonna select that option. Then select which home you want your Google streaming device to be associated with, and then click next. So it's gonna look for Google devices that are in your general vicinity. And as long as you have your Google TV plugged in, it should be able to find it after searching. So we can see after a little bit of time, it now says that my Google TV device has been found. Would you like to set this device up? Yes, I would like to do that. So we can click on yes to continue with the setup process. And we're gonna need camera permission for the Google Home app so it can scan that QR code to set up the device. So let's click on where it says scan code. And for allowing camera permission, we're gonna click while using this app. So now back over on our TV screen, we're gonna scan this code with our smartphone. And on our smartphone, it's gonna finish the connection process. So now after a little bit of time, they should connect up and it says follow the instructions in the Google Home app to continue. So now back over on my phone, I can look through the terms of service and the privacy policy. And if everything looks good, I can click accept at the bottom. I need to select where this device is gonna be located for me. It's in my living room, so I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna click Next. And now to connect up with Wi-Fi, you're gonna select your Wi-Fi router. For me, it's Asus 22, so I'm gonna click on that and then click Next. 
and then enter in the password for your Wi-Fi router and then you can click next. And now it's gonna connect up your Google TV with your Wi-Fi router and as long as you enter in your password correctly, it should connect successfully. And then after successfully connecting up, it says sign in with your Google account. Your Google account will be signed in on your Google TV to enable your personalized TV experience. And then it's going to use the Google account that you have set up with on Google Home. So it'll show that email right here. And so at this point, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And it wants us to verify our account. So I'm going to click next. After verifying, it'll sign us in and connect us up with our Google account. And we can scroll down in this menu to select some different options. So we have location. It'll use the Google TV's device location for location-based services. You can help improve Google TV by automatically sending diagnostic information to Google from your device. You can personalize recommendations as well as using Google Assistant. So after selecting all of your different options for these different areas at the bottom, we can click accept. And you'll have the ability to use Google Assistant to find shows and movies and things such as that on your TV streaming device. So if you'd like to allow this, you can click allow here at the bottom. Otherwise, you can say no thanks. And you can set up your voice preferences how you'd like to have them. For me, I'm just going to set them up like I have on my other Google devices so I can confirm this. Now I can choose my subscriptions in this area. You'll also have the ability to download and install these apps in the device itself. So you can either select them here or again, we can do this on the device later. So I'm going to add Twitch to the YouTube options and then click next. Now it takes us to this menu where we can choose what's going to be on our display when it's not being used. So we can use our own Google photos or we can use curated images. I'm going to do curated art gallery images and then click next. If you want to get updates about Google TV sent to you, you can opt in by signing up. Otherwise, you can click no thanks. So here's a review of all the things that we have set up so I can click continue. And setup is finished. Complete setup on the TV screen with the remote. So now I can click on done. So now at this point, I'm going to take you back over to my TV screen to finish the setup process. So now at this point, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to set up volume control and power for our Google TV remote to use on our television. So we're going to click OK on where it says set up remote. So for me, the volume controls are going to be used to adjust the volume that's on my television. So I'm going to click OK on that. And then I need to select what type of television that I have. So for me, it's a Roku TV. So I need to go down all the way to the R's to find Roku. So for me, I'm setting up on a Roku TV. So I'm going to click OK on that. So it's going to play music for me to set up the volume up and down option. So I'm going to click OK on next. Now, if you don't hear music playing, make sure that your volume is turned up high enough for you to hear it. But at this point on your Google TV remote, you can click volume up and down. And if the buttons on your Google TV remote are making the volume go up and down, we can click OK on yes. If it doesn't work, you can go over and click OK on no, and then it'll try a different TV code. So actually, it was the second code that ended up working for me. So I'm going to click OK on yes. And now setting up the power button, clicking OK on next. It says press the power button. The TV should turn off. After you turn your TV off, wait at least eight seconds. Don't press any buttons. Then press the power button again, and the TV should turn back on. If this worked, you can click yes. Otherwise, you can try other codes. For me, it did work, so I'm going to click OK on yes. My Google TV remote is now set up and ready to go, so I'm going to click OK on Next. And now it's going to go through the process of installing the initial apps that are going to be on your device. And now we can start exploring our Google TV. That takes us to the home page of our Google TV. To finish up this setup process, just going to go through the menus here. So we can see if we go down, we can see the apps that we have on our Google TV. And if you have subscriptions to any of these services, you'll be able to sign in to those respective subscriptions to watch your video content. Going to the top menu area, if you want to download and install any different apps, you can do so in the apps area. All you have to do is search for the apps that you'd like to download and install, and then you'll have those on your Google TV device. If you've purchased any rentals or things such as that, they should show up in your library. And if you ever want to change the settings, we can do so all the way over here on the right hand side. This takes us over to the settings area. We can click OK on that. And you have all sorts of things that you can change the settings on here in the settings menu. And if you ever need to do a system reboot, we can just go to the system area, go down here towards the bottom and click OK on where it says restart. And if you ever need to get back to the home screen, just simply click the home button on your Google TV remote and that'll take us right back to the home page. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step by step process on how to set up your on Google TV. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.